Imagine this, tender chicken, succulent prunes, and flavorful olives, all brought together in a rich marinade of olive oil, red wine vinegar, and aromatic herbs. Enjoy the delightful journey of flavors and aroma as they unfold in this delightful recipe. To make chicken marbella, in a large mixing bowl, combine half a cup of red wine vinegar, half a cup of good quality olive oil, one cup of large pitted green olives, half a cup of capers including the juices, one and a half cups of large pitted prunes, one and a half heads of garlic minced, five bay leaves, two tablespoons of dried oregano, five teaspoons of kosher salt, one teaspoon of kosher salt per pound of chicken, and freshly ground black pepper to taste. Mix to combine the marinade. We are using 5 pounds of chicken. Transfer the chicken into the marinade. Toss and ensure that all the chicken pieces are covered in the marinade. Now, cover and transfer the chicken to the fridge and let it marinate overnight. And the next day, once the chicken has marinated, transfer into a roasting pan. Arrange the chicken pieces in a single layer and ensure that the skin is facing up. Meanwhile, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, that is 177 degrees Celsius. Pour one cup of dry white wine around the chicken, such as Pinot Grigio. Pour the wine around the chicken and not on top of the chicken. If you don't want to use wine, you can do chicken stock. Then sprinkle brown sugar over the chicken skin. Get the full written recipe at kelvinskitchen.com. Use an instant read thermometer to ensure that the chicken cooks properly. Now, roast at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 to 50 five minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And while the chicken cooks, let's make some rice and noodles. In a large pot over medium-high heat, add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Then add three bundles of fidelini pasta. The noodles usually come in a bundle, so I normally break them up with my hands as I add them to the pot. Saute the noodles for a couple of minutes until they turn brown and crispy. Once the noodles are nice and brown, move them to one side of the pot. Then add two cubes of sofrito, which is two tablespoons of sofrito. Get my sofrito recipe in the description box down below. Saute the sofrito for a couple of minutes. Add three cups of water. Season the rice with half a teaspoon of adobo seasoning, one chicken bouillon cube, and one packet of sazon. Break up the chicken bouillon cube to ensure that it is completely dissolved. Bring the pot to a boil, and once it comes to a boil, it is time to add the rice. Follow the 1 to 1 ratio, 1 cup of water per 1 cup of rice. We are using 3 cups of jasmine rice. Rinse the rice under cold water first, then add to the pot. Give that a quick stir to combine. Continue boiling the rice uncovered until all the water has evaporated. And once all the water has evaporated, reduce the heat to the lowest setting on your stove. You don't want to burn the rice. Using a tight lid, cover and let it cook for 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, go ahead and fluff the rice. By doing so, the rice cooks evenly. Then cover and continue cooking for another 10 to 15 minutes or until the rice is nice and soft. And back to the chicken marbella. Once the temperature is 165 degrees Fahrenheit, set the temperature to broil for a couple of minutes to get the skin nice and crispy. And after a total cooking time of about 35 minutes, your rice will be perfectly cooked. Fluff the rice once again before serving. Hey, if you try my rice or chicken marbella recipe, let me know in the comment box down below. And if everything goes according to plan, your chicken marbella will look like this. Let the chicken marbella rest for a few minutes before serving. This enticing combination promises a burst of savory flavors that melt together beautifully, creating a tantalizing feast for the senses. With the added touch of bay leaves and a hint of sweetness from the brown sugar, each bite offers a delightful balance of textures and taste, making it a must try for anyone who enjoys delicious food. And there you have it, Chicken Marbella. Enjoy! Buen provecho! Thanks for watching! See you later! Bye!